Hello, I'm Navya, a technical account manager here at the AWS office in New York. Today, I'm going to show you how users can configure AWS Certificate Manager certificates for their website hosted on an Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute instance. Let's get started. You can't export an ACM public certificate for use on an EC2 instance because ACM manages the private key. Instead, you can use SSL TLS encryption for communication by putting your EC2 instance behind a service that integrates with ACM, such as Elastic Load Balancing or an Amazon CloudFront distribution. Today, let's see how to do this with a CloudFront distribution. Step 1. Request a public certificate. You can do this in the console or with the AWS command line interface. Let's look at how to do this using the console. Log into the AWS Management Console Navigate to ACM Console. Log into the AWS Management Console. Navigate to Certificate Manager. Choose Request a Certificate. Click Next. In the Domain Name section, enter your domain name. You can use a fully qualified domain name as www.example.com or Apex domain such as example.com. You can also use an asterisk as a wild card in the leftmost position to protect several site names within the same domain, such as asterisk.example.com. This protects doc.example.com, images.example.com, and so on. The wildcard name appears in the subject field and in subject alternative name extension of the ACM certificate. When you request a wildcard certificate, the asterisk must be in the leftmost position of the domain names. This can protect only one subdomain level. For example, asterisk.example.com can protect doc.example.com and images.example.com, but it can't protect download.image.example.com. Also, note that asterisk.example.com protects only the subdomains of example.com, but it cannot protect download.image.example.com. To protect both, you can add another name. Choose Add another name to this certificate and enter the name in the text box. This is useful to protect both Apex domains such as example.com and its subdomains asterisk.example.com. In the Select Validation Method section, choose either DNS validation or email validation depending on your needs. Before ACM issues a certificate, it validates that you own or control the domain names in your certificate request. You can use either email validation or DNS validation. If you choose email validation, then ACM sends validation email to three contact addresses registered in the WHOIS database and to the five common system administration addresses for each domain name. You or an authorized representative must reply to one of these email messages. If you use DNS validation, you simply add a CNAME record that's provided by ACM to your DNS configuration. In the Tags page, you can tag your certificate. Tags are optional key value pairs that serve as metadata for identifying and organizing AWS resources. When you finish adding tags, choose Request. After the request is processed, the console returns you to your certificate list where information about the new certificate appears. A certificate sends a status pending validation when it's requested unless it fails with any of these error messages. No available contacts, domain not allowed, invalid public domain, additional verification required, other. If you receive one of these errors, then browse our documentation about resolving these issues. ACM tries to validate a certificate for 72 hours and then times out. Please note, if a certificate shows status failed or validation timed out, then delete the request, correct the issue with DNS validation or email validation and try again. If validation succeeds, then the certificate enters the status issued. Step 2. Associate the certificate with a CloudFront distribution. From AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudFront Console. Now, select the relevant existing distribution and choose Edit to change the distribution settings. Under Alternate Domain Names, choose CNames and other alternate domain names that you have for the distribution. Select 
Custom SSL Certificate. From the drop-down list, select the one you created. Please note, CloudFront distributions must request the certificate in the US East North Virginia region. You can also use an imported certificate with CloudFront, but note that certificate must be 1024 bits or 2048 bits and it can't exceed 2048 bits. Choose Save Changes and wait for a few minutes for it to be associated. Please note, to confirm that the certificate is associated with the distribution, you can view it under the Custom SSL Certificate section in the Settings pane. Step 3. Put the Amazon EC2 instance behind the CloudFront distribution to use Amazon EC2 instances with CloudFront. Use an Amazon machine image that automatically installs the software for a web server. Use an elastic load balancing load balancer to handle traffic across multiple EC2 instances and to isolate your application from changes to Amazon EC2 instances. For example, if you use a load balancer, you can add and delete Amazon EC2 instances without changing your application. When you create your CloudFront distribution, specify the URL of the load balancer for the domain name of your origin server. Step 4. Route traffic to your CloudFront distribution. Get the domain name that CloudFront assigned to the distribution and determine whether IPv6 is enabled. Open the CloudFront console, then in the ID column, select the link name of the distribution that you want to route traffic to. On the General tab, get the value of the distribution domain name field. Check the IPv6 field to see whether IPv6 is enabled for the distribution. If IPv6 is enabled, then create two alias records for the distribution, one to route IPv4 traffic to the distribution and one to route IPv6 traffic. Now, open the Route 53 console. In the navigation pane, choose Hosted Zones. Choose the linked name of the hosted zone for the domain that you want to use to route traffic to your CloudFront distribution. Choose Create Record. Specify the following values. Routing Policy. Choose the applicable routing policy. Record Name. Enter the domain name that you want to use to route traffic to your CloudFront distribution. The default value is the name of the hosted zone. For example, if the name of the hosted zone is example.com and you want to use acme.example.com to route traffic to your distribution, then enter acme. Alias. If you're using the quick create record creation method, turn on alias. Important. You must create an alias record for the CloudFront distribution to work. Route traffic to. Choose alias to CloudFront distributions. The US East 1 region is selected by default. Choose the name that CloudFront assigned to the distribution when you created it. This is the value that you got in the previous step. Record type. Choose a IPv4 address. If IPv6 is enabled for the distribution and you're creating a second record, then choose AAAA IPv6 address. Evaluate target help. Accept the default value of no. Choose create records. So now you know how to configure ACM certificates for your website hosted on Easy2 instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.